LeBron, stepping away from tonight's game, you um, obviously kind of the dominant conversation around the team over the last week has kind of stemmed from some of your comments over All-Star Weekend, um, leading to you know, obvious speculation about your future. But um, the question I have is, what is your level of confidence that, uh, that the Lakers front office can put championship contending rosters together around you for as long as you are, you know, as long as you're here? Uh, very confident. I mean, they've done it. They've shown me that um, I have nothing. I mean, ever since I got here, um, the front office, Jeannie, Linda, Kurt, and everybody has welcomed me with open arms and has given me an opportunity to play for a historical franchise and welcome my family in. And I've just tried to give back my part of the game and inspire kids and inspire people that want to follow uh, the Lakers and put them back at a level that they were accustomed to be. And it's always been my focus. Um, I don't, I don't understand how some of my comments over the weekend was taken to a whole different, the whole different uh, area of, you know, could I see myself retiring as a Cavalier? I never said I would see myself playing in a Cavaliers uniform. I mean, I talked to um, Jason Lloyd and he asked me and I said, well, I don't know what tomorrow holds, but actually me playing for the Cavs, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. Could I see myself retiring as a Cav? And he asked me, well, well like, you just come here and sign for a day and, re and retire as a Cav? I said, that's, that, that possible could be. Um, and then things about my son, me wanting to finish my, see, play with my son, wherever he's at, me going there. Like, you guys take so, some of my words and just, like, twist them to different places where they shouldn't go and if I comment or compliment uh, you know a GM that's an OKC I really believe that he's done a phenomenal job and you guys spin that to me saying that Rob is not doing a great job or if I say the GM from the Rams I love this fucking t-shirt I thought it was dope and I believe the same way I don't care about picks I'll care about winning championships well, how is that directed at Rob in, his, in the Lakers franchise? Rob has done the same thing. He went and got AD. He didn't care about picks as well, obviously. So I'm so weird that you guys can take, not you guys, whoever started this whole thing. And, I mean, Bill doesn't like the Lakers anyway, so it's always going to be a negative. Anytime Bill says anything about the Lakers, it's going to be negative. So I hope no one in Lakers faithful – listen to Bill Orham. I hope not. He hasn't said one great thing about the Lakers in so long. Okay. Appreciate it. So LeBron, it, just for clarity's sake there then, I mean, is this, you know, obviously you have one more year beyond this. Is, is this a team that you see yourself playing with beyond? This is a franchise I see myself being with. Beyond your contract. I'm here. I'm here. Um, you guys, I, I continue to tell you guys, I mean, Dave knows me more than any one of you guys. And I tell you, I, I, I literally live in the moment. I do. I live in the moment. And I see myself being with the purple and gold as long as I can play. Um, but I also have a goal that if it's possible, I don't even know if it's possible, that if I can play with my son, I would love to do that. Is that like... I mean, is that like something that no any any man or body should, should want want that in life? That's like the coolest thing that could possibly happen. That doesn't mean I don't want to be with this franchise.